In this video, I will demonstrate using sentiment analysis on documents, which we can easily do using the auto-coded facility within Windows. So the best way is to demonstrate. So this time I'm going to highlight transcripts that I wish to conduct a sentiment analysis for. And I'm going to click on autocode and identify sentiment. Stay with coding by sentences, but you could choose either. Sentences gives a more fine grain analysis. And we just wait for the work to be done. Which in this case has only taken a few seconds. So a hierarchy charts provided. And this takes each transcript interview. Since these were the ones we've included in the analysis. And it's giving an indication of how much of the text in that interview was neutral, positive, mixed or negative. So we get a good idea here about who might be more positive towards particular questions. Now, if you're doing a sentiment analysis like this, we might first want to work just on selected questions, because obviously the interviews are covering lots of different topics. Um, so you might want to do some work on those transcripts first, so that we're just analysing the part of the interviews that are really important at this point. However, we get a general view here. And we also get a matrix code, which is very helpful. So taking interview by interview, we can see what it is that they've said the that have been very positive about, or very negative about, moderate, moderately positive or mo moderately negative about. And then we can just look at that by clicking on the references to see. So this working exactly the same way as autocoding before when it made the, um, the coding matrix. So yeah, so, so there's a great satisfaction knowing that. And I feel a real peace about being here. So the oaks are very important to me. So as you can see, it's not only picking up on terms such as really like, those kind of very positive terms. Um, there's the element of the AI that has is able to be a bit more nuanced. So it can be very useful. Of course, because they're only coded by sentence, it's picking up that particular sentence. And so in this case, you might want to think, okay, perhaps I'd go back and um, this time choose paragraphs. But we just double click on the hyperlink to see in context. So, so we're never far from the data and always recommend that we go back and understand that text in context. So we see the sentiment analysis here. And you could say view all the very positives or all the very negatives, etc. And view them in one in one place. And here we have very negative. So it's going through Barbara's very negative. William's very negative. And so quite interesting in this case, it's just Barbara and William that appear to be having very negative views. So it's a good way of being able to identify people that perhaps stand out from the crowd at the extremes. We can also use sentiment analysis in another way, 
which I'll show you in a different video, um, which we will do using the survey wizard instead of the autocoding. It's really useful as a way to analyze open-ended questions in questionnaires really quickly. So if you're a quants analyst, you'll know that analyzing open-ended questions in surveys can be quite tricky and um, laborious. It does a good job in InVivo very easily. I definitely recommend uh, looking at that. So that would be in the other sentiment analysis video that's part of the mixed methods, stepping up in vivo course.